Hello folks, I'm fortunate enough to have acquired a Steam Deck and if you're like me, I was super excited to start smashing my way through my massive Steam wish list with this bad boy. So I fired it up, got it ready, went to my wish list and imagine my disappointment when I realised not every game that I want to play is actually compatible with my Steam Deck just yet. Now I'm sure that will change as time moves on, but I've got a new toy and I want to play games on it. So it started me thinking, I cannot be the only person in this position searching through the catalogues trying to find something that's compatible with my Steam Deck and something that I want to play. So I thought I'd put together a series of videos that highlight some of the best games that are currently available for us to play on the Steam Deck. Today we're going to start with farming and crafting simulators. First off there is Grow, Song of the Evertree, developed by Prideful Sloth and published by 505 Games. Over time the worlds of Alaria faded. The Evertree where many worlds resided on its countless branches is now nothing more than a sapling, its splendour long erased from memory. No one knows how to make it grow. But you are different. You hear the sun as it sings across the sky. You hear the language of rain against the earth. You are the last of the Everheart alchemists and it's your ancestral task and privilege to care for the Evertree. In this game you learn to craft world seeds through alchemy to generate totally new worlds with unique characteristics. Tend to those worlds to rejuvenate them and see how they change and watch as new properties emerge before your very eyes. You can generate unique meadows, deserts, frozen worlds. Well, alchemy is not an exact science. Some seeds may contain unexpected surprises. Find unique places blooming with fantastic fauna and flora as you are encouraged to explore this beautiful world at your own pace. How do you want to spend your time? Exploring caves, solving puzzles, collecting minerals, flowers, fishing, catching bugs? It's entirely up to you. Grow your own worlds and nurture a deep natural connection with everything they hold. See your actions change the world for the better bring the Evertree back to life. Grow Song of the Evertree is available on PlayStation, Xbox, PC and Nintendo Switch. Next up is Gas Station Simulator, developed by Drago Entertainment and published by Heartbeat Games and Movie Games. Buy an abandoned gas station and restore it to its full glory. Renovate, upgrade and expand upon the offered services to keep up with your clients' demands. It's all about renovating, expanding and running a gas station along a highway in the middle of a desert. Freedom of choice and multiple approaches to run your business and deal with pressure are key ingredients in this game. Gas Station Simulator allows you to live out a fantasy of successfully starting a business from virtually nothing. It's available on PC. My third entry is Such Art Genius Artist Simulator. It's developed by Goose Minded and published by Hype Train Digital. Such Art allows you to paint on many different surfaces, for example, canvases, furniture, walls, floor, with various tools encouraging you to unleash your inner creativity. You're a genius artist living in the year 2130. Make the best of the space studio you own. Create art with a large variety of tools. Sell your works, get famous and upgrade your studio. Let your imagination run wild and create the art of your dreams. A unique artist simulation game with realistic paint mixing, physics and numerous painting tools. Upgrade and customise your studio, complete tasks, sell and expose art, buy instruments and get famous. My fourth entry is a personal favourite of mine. I've sunk many hours into this game. It's Stardew Valley. Now I'm quite sure most of you have heard of this game, but in case there is the odd one or two of you that have not, let me tell you about it. 
Stardew Valley is a simulation game developed and published by Concerned Ape. You play the role of a character who takes over their deceased grandfather's dilapidated farm in a place known as Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is open-ended, allowing you to take on activities such as growing crops, raising livestock, fishing, cooking, mining and foraging, and socialising with the townspeople, including the ability to marry and have children. It also allows up to four players to play online together. The game was released for Windows in February 2016, before being ported to consoles and mobile platforms. My final entry is Potion Craft, which is an alchemist simulator developed by Nice Play Games and published by Tiny Build. Play as an aspiring alchemist in your own potion shop where you physically interact with your tools and ingredients to brew potions. Start your journey down the alchemist's path, invent new recipes, attract customers, experiment to your heart's content and forge your own destiny to become the alchemist this town needs. It's not only brewing that you must do, you have an enchanted garden that you must take care of. Explore the alchemy map and find a variety of effects you can add to your potions. Fire, frost, healing, poison. Your potions potential is limitless. Listen to the townsfolk, understand their needs from the stories that they tell you and sell them the right potions to keep your business running. Potion Craft is available on PC. So there you go, here are five games that I think are worthy of a mention for playing on the Steam Deck and they have that all important green Steam Deck compatible tick. Do let me know in the comments what you think to my selection, let me know if there are any other games that you think are worthy of a mention and while you're in that area I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button for me and sub to the channel if you've yet to do so. It's free and you can always change your mind later but please don't change your mind and unsub, it will make me very sad. Until next time, I wish you all a fabulous remainder of your day. Ciao for now.